I, this is a continuation of my book, The Quran Says What, which you can get on uh, Google, I mean, which you can get on Amazon. It's an ebook form. Yeah. Okay, and this is a continuation. By the way, when I read my words, I'll be using the, uh, this side of my face. When I use the Muslims, the uglier side of my face. Okay. Yeah. All right. Plus, I'll be using a Fu Manchu-like accent. At least that's what I've heard. It sounds like Fu Manchu. So we'll see about that. Okay. This is one of the linguistic miracles of the Quran. Can you do the same? You mean add more meaning to a word in a book or a story I've written? If I said yes, would you cry? I don't see how it's hard to believe that words take on extra, mean, extra meanings as time goes by. Boss used to mean boss, then it, in the 60s it uh, took on a new meaning, uh, when it, with, uh, with it, uh, which was cool. Is that a miracle that boss took on a, a new meaning? Again, find me an Arabic into English dictionary before we knew embryos are never blood clots. That has Sur 96 called the clean leech like substance, or has the uh, saying, Who created you from a leech like substance? Find it, please. Are you suggesting that the most recited book in the world was written by an illiterate man 1400 years ago who happened to have a microscope and deep knowledge about human embryo development? Apparently not at all. Not at all. And, and instead, he probably saw a miscarriage, saw a lot of blood and clotting with it, and shouted, Shazam! We come from blood and our even blood clots of 40 days. But don't tell me. But because they are all in uh, okay, he doesn't respond here, but then another time he said this. Don't tell me. But because they are all in conspiracy to make Islam seem like it was off the top of a very off the top of a very evil desert uh, pedophile pirate's head who knew nothing about embryology. True. Moron! Well, moron, I did not ask you, but simply showed you a better question. Better question? And who are you referring to when you say pedophile? Marrying a six-year-old and diddling her when she's nine is not a sign of pedophilia? How is it not a sign of pedophilia? All that mo in the hadith, your kind made up. If you're right, I take it you are not a Sunni Muslim, but are now one of the rapidly growing in number of Quranis, Quran-only Muslims, who reject the hadith, even if it's Sahih. It is, after all, Sahih hadith that has Mo diddling Aisha when she was when she was nine and he was fifty-four. That would be real Mo, your Mo, not my prophet. Then. You are a Qurani, Quran only Muslim, and don't follow or believe in the Hadith, even if it's Sahih authentic. You are no longer a Sunni Muslim, but are a Qurani. If so, well, don't feel bad. It seems that most Sunni Muslims are now Qurani's, Quran only Muslims. And he doesn't respond. Another time I say, I haven't consumed enough water yet. Oh, you need water, huh? Quran 21 34. Have those who disbelieve not considered that the heavens and the earth were joined in entity, and we separated them, and made from water every living thing, then will they not believe? I bet you feel it takes the Quran to tell you that all living things usually have water behind them for their existence, true? One needs the Quran to know that in not simple observation? Well, Maybe I'd be more inclined to believe the Quran was true if it said, At night you can see stars. <laughs> okay, and he never responded to me after that, so... Anyway. Uh, I better... I better... Uh, end it here okay yeah he never responded here how much time do I have left here how much time do I have left oh, I got plenty of time okay good all right now this is where I left off what I did I read you the part that I'm adding to the beginning but this is the stuff I'm gonna be uh, now continue the stuff where I left off from last time okay this is Othman 
the Muslim name Uthman. So I'll continue here. However, these days are not biblical, but rather come from ancient pagan worship. If so, well, so? Do you know why you Muslim circle the Kaaba counterclockwise? Do you know why you bow down to the black stone? Even before Muhammad forced you to bow down to the black stone, pagan Arabs were doing that with not only 360 other stones symbolizing their gods, a lot of them were bowing down to the black stone as well. So, if you think Christianity came out of paganism and is therefore false, well, hey, Islam came out of paganism as well. This is a fact that even leaders in professing Christian churches will admit. It could be seen as that, being that the Catholic Church aligns sacred days with pagan reasons, or yeah, or, yeah, traditions, but the same thing can be as to why you, quote, throw stones at the devil and go on a hodge to Mecca. Going on a pilgrimage to Mecca was, was going on by the pagans before there was an Islam. Thus, if Christianity came out of paganism and you reject Christianity for that reason, then you have to reject Islam for coming out of paganism as well. Why don't you? However, their mission, their, ad, their admission is usually followed with words to the effect of, quote, it doesn't matter because God looks on the heart. Or, quote, it's okay because we confiscated it for Christ. If so, well, what is a Muslim's reason for bowing down to a pagan rock like the pagans were doing with the pagan rock, the black stone, and 360 other rocks before there was Islam? If so, well, why do you still go on pilgrimages to Mecca like the pagans were doing before there was Islam? You know? This justification, despite the fact that God's word says, quote, Learn, lean, learn not the way of the heathen. Jeremiah 10, 1. And despite the fact that God's word prohibits integrating pagan practices into the true faith, Jesus Christ says in the angel to pray in secret and not be like the pagans being repetitious. Who is rep repetitious in prayer like the pagans? Oh, slave of the best deceivers. Again, why the double, why the double standard here? Any guess? Notice God's command to the children of Israel. Despite this command, millions who consider themselves true believers actively promote festivals that not only contradict the scriptures, but actually mock the very God of the Bible. If so, and this means Christianity is false by your estimation or your standard, uh, then why do you continue to be a Muslim when many of the rituals of Islam are pagan-based? How come? Why the double standard, O oh, slave of the best of deceivers? Why? How come? Yeah. Any guess? Huh? Notice God's command to the children of Israel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They embrace pagan festivals and reject the days God set apart as holy convocations, Leviticus 23. And again, Muslims don't. Think again, O oh slave of the best of deceivers. Think again. The prophet Amos once recorded God's opinion of man's holidays and festivals, and his words were not flattering. God declares they were abhorrent to him. I hate. I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Amos 5, 21, 22. Sounds like an attack on the Catholic Church and on Islam. For don't Muslims have sacrifices of baby camels for food to eat? By the way, in the Torah, are you to eat camels? Remember, the Torah is, quote, Allah's book given to Musa, and do you... Or do you not eat baby camels at the Hajj? And by the Torah, are you to eat camels? Are they kosher? I mean, halal. Think of slave the best receivers. Think, by the way, did the pagan Arabs sacrifice and eat camels in their rituals? Tragically, there are many who profess to be followers of Yeshua, but reject the very law he ordained as the God of the Old Testament, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Jacob. They don't reject. They, we believe, 
we are now under a new covenant where it's not what goes into your mouth that defiles you, but what comes out, as Jesus says in the Injil. The consequence for this behavior are very serious. Not in the age of grace. You know? How much time do I have left here? Okay, I think I have time, yeah. Not in the age of grace. You can have Christmas and Easter and even Halloween, and it will make a bit of difference, for Christ's blood covers all when he made a new covenant by making sense of all the sin, of the sin offerings of blood atonement described in the Torah, all this book given to Musa. The angel says nothing can take out of his hand. You can't lose your salvation, I'm betting. When given what is commonly referred to as the Sermon on the Mount, Yeshua described a period of judgment involving people who claimed they were Christians but were not. Notice that Yeshua, the Messiah, said, quote, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Right, not all. But notice it doesn't, it doesn't count out those who do say, Lord, Lord. Thus, most who do say, Lord, Lord, will make it into heaven. I bet you don't believe that, true? But he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven... To do the will of God is to not work for your salvation, but to accept Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, making your salvation of grace and that not of works. For if you make it of works, you will probably have a situation of Lord, Lord, have you not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name did uh, many wonderful works. See, they were doing works, and apparently like Muslims, they were doing it for salvation. Many will say to me that the Lord, Lord, we have not, have we not prophesied in the name, in thy name, and thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works, right? And apparently they thought their works would save them instead of relying on what Jesus did for them on the cross, when he, Jesus, made sense of all those sin offerings and blood atonement described in the Torah, quote, all those book given to Musa. You know, I better stop it here. Yeah, I better will. I'll continue this later.